He has already retired. Wow. And I'm very, very sure he'll soon be in the Ghana Armed Forces. And possibly, I'm very optimistic, he'll be a Chief of Defense Staff for this country one of the years to come. Inshallah. So continue to be proud of our school and our product. Cadet Officer Amwa Emmanuel is the parade commander for this morning's event. And parade to IC Cadet Officer Tete Ezekiel. Cadet Officer Awatri Christian Joshua is the parade adjutant. And we have Karachi Kojo Edu as the parade RSM. And scenes like this bring nostalgic feelings to the old students who during their time took active part in some of these uh, celebrations and events. The school, somewhere in active service in some of these contingent organizations and some were always clapping to show our love. It was also an activity. So whichever role you played, uh, happenings here, continue to bring nostalgic feelings. And we are happy to be, back, to be back home. We are so happy to be back home. 60 years is a great feat and it calls for celebration. And as you rightly said, the nostalgic movement that most of the old students are having. Well organized, well composed. All right! All day! And... So the cadet, please, we are grateful. hold on as we take the possession of the staff and all students. So we'll bring this one to an end for now. And uh, the school choir and the dignitaries will file in and the rest will follow. Let us continue to show our love to Mother Boas. Look at somebody's face and mention your yearbook. I sat behind some of the students, they mentioned their yearbook and I kept quiet. I was here in 1998. I left here in 2000. Mention your yearbook. Locate your mate. Meet your seniors. Let us build a network. We are the sons and daughters of Boaz, and we are happy to be back home. And that is a key thing to be part of these celebrations. Learning from those who have already taken the pace, and tapping into their knowledge, and also building a very good network that can put you on the next stage.
Shall we be upstanding? As we all shine our dignities. Led by the school choir. Let us all be upstanding. If you are still not taking your seat, we are about starting this morning's event. So have your seat and actively take part.
Watch on the colors. To the colors. So Cadet Officer Amwa Emmanuel, Parade Commander for this morning's program, Ray. is coming up stage to seek permission Ray. to carry out Shit. the activities for the day.
The commander is about taking instructions from. Good morning. The big seat. Well, we to proceed. Senior high school, CCF, anniversary prayer reformer. 50 men, five officers, a set of regimenters, and a high senior cadet officer, Amo Imara reporting. Great! Ready for your inspection. Okay, so the chairman, yeah. together with three of the executives, will join to inspect the cadet. Before that, I am a man of the nation, a man of the nation, a And I said earlier, we are happy to be back home. Six decades of quality education. Six decades of forming the future leaders of Ghana. From Boas. Aren't you proud being part of the story? I'm a proud of that for back. Continue to tell the war story the way it has to be told. We also like to remind you that the program is being streamed live by Studio 502 Media on Facebook and on the Ghana Feed page. If you still haven't had a place to sit, identify where you are supposed to be sitting and enjoy the proceedings. All of us are taking part actively to make it a success. Let us get copies of the brochure so we can tell the story better when we leave here. A study series for students and 35 series for old students. And all the old students will buy so many copies so we can give to our brothers and sisters, our friends, our old schoolmates who are unable to be here today. Let us network, let us tap into each other's experience. 
Because Boas has made us well. And we are proud of our school. Happy to be back home. And I know all of us are going to enjoy this day. 60 years, we're part of the story making. And we'll tell it the best way. Nobody can tell our stories better than ourselves. We know the inside out. Those days at the Bush Canteen. Those days up your way. So, discipline was on the high. This is Boas at 60. So, the parade commander will take over. Led by. The leadership are here. Three, salute. Inspection will be done. Three, yes. Yanara Sassini. Omani Boyedi. Edi Gamfona Beye Biko. Asraafu yi ne duro onso. Ena mohuna fefe fefe no. Cadet Officer Amoa Emmanuel. Parade Commander for this morning's event. For Good morning, sir. What was the senior high school CCF anniversary parade for us? Five officers, 50 men, and a set of regimentals. And I, I senior cadet officer, Amwa Imano reporting. Parade ready for your inspection. So, the, chairman. the leadership, the chairman, and the rest of the dignitaries will inspect the parade and understand the story the way it has to be told. The transformation of the school from Dunkwa Secondary School to Bwamposem Secondary School, of which I was part, and now Bwamposem Senior High School. So the parade commander is leading the chairman and the other executives to inspect the parade mounted this morning for the celebration. The inspection had started, and the officers are ready.
So, so happening. It's the inspection of the parade. The parade commander is leading. Therefore, by lawyer in Chakra to inspect. Beautiful parade mountain to stay. So beautiful. Supported by the Regional Director of Education, the Member of Parliament for Upper Dinja East, the MC. And all the big men I've seen. Former Deputy Minister. And yes, we well, President Kufu Administration, Honorable Abraham Juma Odum, former MP Jufu Timokwa. Seen Honorable. Our headmistress, self, an old student. Dr. Usu Ansan, former president, Babsa, board chairman, Boas. For the color party, we have Cadet Officer Prince Esimadu, senior ensign, and we have Cadet Officer Mante Samuel, junior ensign. The last time I met with Professor Uzansa was when he was president okay. of BAPSA and I was the PRO. Since he left office, we have not met. So you met today? I didn't even know that. My president is a professor. Prof. Congratulations, Prof. Forgive me. It's not easy. So the inspection is almost done, and our dignitaries are coming to take their seats for the rest. Heaven knows where we are going. The song originally done by OCB Surely we will get there. Hey! Hey! Shit! I've told those OCB that's the team we are enjoying. We know it will be hard. We know the road will be muddy and rough. And the beautiful words in the music. Beautiful tunes. They are doing it so well. Heaven knows how we walk. 
get there. The road will be muddy, will be rough, but still we'll get there. Beautiful song. Instructor for this morning parade is W01 Osei Poku Bismarck, retired. Thank you very much, officer. It's been weeks of training and preparation, and definitely what we've seen this morning is the output of continuous practice. His glory is always seen. And I know this is how the contingent will be filing out for the rest of the activities to continue. You are reminded the team for this great occasion is Bram Ponsum Senior High School Assisty the role of stakeholders in promoting quality-free senior high school education for national development. And you can better contribute to the theme if you have a copy of the brochure that sells for 35 cities for all students and 30 cities for students. And I've said it and I will say it again. Every old student who have a copy, let's buy more copies to give to our friends who are unable to come. So we'll better tell the story of Boas. Thank you.
they are ready for service, preparing themselves to take up the mantle of protected Ghana. Pray! Inglés Pray! Much! Both from within and outside. And that is the exhibition we are witnessing. Pray! Open Pray! Much! At all, working with the earth system, coins. Isn't this beautiful? Let's show our love, let's show our love. This is beautiful. And this is happening here at the 60th anniversary Deba. Those watching it via Facebook, sometimes the network will be disturbing them, but we are having the privilege to watch it live. And we'll tell them the story after the celebration. Escorts for the parade, oh, Alpha Benjamin Kojo, yeah. Sylvester Usuansa, Abu Kesi, Augustine.
Thank you very much, the cadet. Ray! Who? Ray, Ray, Ray! Move to the left, to the left! Left! Right! Left! Quick! Move! A round of applause as they prepare to exit. As they get ready to file out. Let's show our love, they've done it so well. So the cadet band explain this beautiful sound to signal the filing out of the cadet. You are also reminded that the Municipal Health Directorate in collaboration with the West Africa AIDS Foundation is conducting HIV blood sugar and blood pressure checkup for all students and visitors just beside the school administration block. We love what you have done, we appreciate you, but please, we don't have much time. So let's do our best to make it snappy. So the rest of the activities can follow. Thank you, we appreciate you. You have done it so well. Car number, owner of car number GE1875-13, kindly attend to your vehicle.
The band should pause. The band should pause for the traditional authorities to hey. Hey. file in. And the band will play the music for the contingent to file out. So, Commander. Hey. 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 Let us all be upstanding. Let us all be upstanding for Nananum as they filing to take their seats. We have Nananum from the Detroit Traditional Council. Coming this morning to show their love for the school that has made all of us proud to be here this day. Our Queen Mother, Nana Ama Ayesua Sarah the Third, Queen Mother, Ditra Traditional Area. Jo Sabri. Yanda, Abaimu, and Pandim Four, a school four, and Romasia, not no four, a brim power teacher, and a dumber chassis. Nana Ama, Ayesia, Sarah, Otosa, Nana Dentra, Hema. Sabri, Yenina, Brian Sonny, I do not win. Or that's what I'm in for, and then other time I'm in for, and I do not know. Sabri, Yenina, I am a man, other time, Naba, Hima, Naba, Penny for, and so up to Santi, and then you come a comma. Nabusia Penny, Nana Pomfo, Ajaman, and Otosum, and Santa Travusia Penny. Yen and all the Trakoti in Tichu, Barima, Udia Mono in Tichu, Barima, and all the Trakoti in so, and now I see Nana Chigam in any home, and not you or your country, and also on one of the what you have to go, and not to Sabre, and all the Trakoti in so, and the Abri what you are at Chigam, and all the Chigam, Sabre, Santra, Akwe, and Yayan, and all the Abri what you are, you are on that for one on the day after, I'm posting for uniform. I'm gonna be a seer. I'm gonna be a shikai. I'm posting. I know what this is. Cartoon brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're the inferior of your sin. I know this is the Abri Watia. I'm one of us. I'm the true man. I'm the one that you're mine. I'm the one that you're mine. I'm the one Oyeostudent, <laughs> Na you are so ordinary man, and none of the office for buying. I'm a rabbit, you must see a moon. A papa, I was screaming. And don't you say that you are what you are obeying? Now I bring power. Sabre, you did not cheat. Now you're going to cheat them. Now you're better than John Asher, Adan Yadu, to go to the farm. I'm a Sabre, you met you. I can't say that I am not a child. I was a man from my school. And now I say, school penny, I am a dad. On the teacher for the church of Fuena, sir. On the Master Papa, if you said you made the Yasha and Fiana, Motroyana, Mukutina, Nanka, and Yasqui, Yasha Mutiana, and Fiat, you see about who any woman. Now, so school penny by our Batrako Yanason was in the Abbey, 
Yaura, we did not school you saw a year round, not for one person. Go you before, or to theater, Sabre, now Yaura, Nanano, and I'm not going to dance. I'm mine, Yaura, put the Dunity, now you're not a panel, and we are. I don't do school for panel for a new school for our Bushi, and then you are born, and I'm a young player, Yaura, a drill, a brother, so you're not panel for a boy. What time I'm not much in my dance, I'm not in a fire, I'm a fear, I'm a bonus. I'm a tire, I'm a crime, I'm a cop, I'm not a horse. I play the day in a year, I'm not an animal, so who come from no more way to come. I don't tea and I must have played in Jumadiano, a young Sadia Yahuni, I don't tea Sadia, a Yanama, Yosia, Sara, Tosumia, Sana, and Trahama, and then I bring Ponsa. Young from my school, Pania, or Dan, or Sir, what I was here, what I was saying. And it did any poor Mudema apostle, and it did any poor Mudema that's a mine, and it did any poor Mudema and not much of the Nina, not to make your moon, sir. Yeah, you're the fire, you're the sun. You're who is a crap, now you're playing rap, snap your pump, and send your church media to know. Sunday, I'm going to watch your own, or say, I said, I'm class group, and then the teacher for not church of one. Now that's why I'm also at the Massey. Now that's why I'm also at the Massey and Sun. On one of the Saturday. Abana sa se so na da tra ima na ma yesu asara wo to so mi ansa aguna psi aguna de sikan eko na na wo dan sa so eko na na wo de sikan to brother am ponse na na wo de sikan to brother no no sa pe yi wa ba no ka sa na sa se so na o ba ba tre jom no fa juma die asin na so se de ma me o da da no eti eti yi na 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 no nyina so a ba ne so na na no nyina a ba ma me so aha Sadia ya ma me da da nuhi. Sadia ya ma me da da nuhi. Sadia ya ma me da da nuhi. Wa chira sampa. Wa titi achi na na nuwa sampa. A person ko yiri fana na nuwa sampa. Mumuru fana na nuwa sampa. Na urapia pumso na na no. Ma me tia tia. Tia tia. Boko. Na na ma yensi ya sara otosu ni yensi na de chira hema na no. Abri wa chira si. Beautiful display of culture. And if you know, you know. This is where culture and tradition are is from. This is danger. And we'll do it best. Show your love, show your love. Let's show our appreciation to our traditional leaders for being here to make it happen so well. So the contingent, the parade will file out for the activities to continue. Sabri, ya bre wati ya atne jum na bre mponi na ekana hong amamra ni ani die kwanso ya besra sabri na kumu ya abai frise aya school penny aya school penny MC abre mponi di kati na se ano pesa ya sre na ya ma ya bre wati ya akwaba enunti ya sre photo phoneo mumfri jum kakra emana na nom. Dignitaries have sought permission to welcome our Queen Mother to this, uh, to this event. And the go ahead has been granted. Professor Usasa is leading. I love the pomp and pageantry, the beauty, the well organized. And well dressed sons and daughters of us. I've seen my teacher, I was now a reverend minister. He taught me social studies in 
soul. Exchange of pleasantries. This is the 60th anniversary, Deba. And we are all proud seeing ourselves. I know, but for this event, some mates have not met in so many years. So the parade will take over, file out, and we'll continue with the rest. Thank you, Coach Yatu. We appreciate you. Thank you. The school brochure is still available. 30 CDs for students, 35 CDs for all students. Let's get copies so we can better still tell the story after the celebration. Other souvenirs are also available at the administration block. You see the students to get your Lacoste and other school souvenirs just in case you don't have one. Red Lacoste, if you need Red Center. Can we be upstanding, please? Nostalgic feelings, all students should be able to sing the lines in the school anthem. And I know when we get there, all of us. Ray, the day. Watch out for the colors. To the colors, bring the us. Please, let's get seated. Yeah, yeah. 
60 years of good education deserves a Champions League anthem. And it is a 60 year anniversary anthem. This is not a European Champions League anthem. United is not playing, so I'm not interested. Wave to right off, you go have some fruit. Wave to right, you go have some fruit. Right. Let's see. Let's show our love. Let's show our appreciation. They have done so well. Let's appreciate them. They have done so well. And physically, they have told us that they are present to provide to us security needed for a successful celebration. We need a spiritual protection. And we'll call on Reverend Francis Sam Magnus to give us an opening prayer. As he steps forward to give us the prayer, let's welcome him with a round of applause. Reverend Francis Sam Magnus. to the hands of the living God. We pray. Our Lord and Heavenly Father, Almighty and 
everlasting God, we thank you for such a privilege that you have given unto us, bringing us here once again to Anna Madabwas, who is now 60 years Call upon the assistant headmistress, domestic, Mrs. Priscilla Apanyi, to introduce these guests to us. Thank you. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. I'm humbled to be called upon to perform the dual task of introducing the chairperson and other dignitaries for this August occasion. I have the father. We have in our midst the member of parliament for Upper Danger East, Honorable Dr. Festus Ewa Kofi. Thank you. The municipal chief executive for Upper Danger East, Honorable Ebenezer Apia Corson. The municipal director of education, Mr. Anthony Techi, and his staff. Director, you're welcome. The former Minister Director of Education, Mr. Ejindi Kwashi Yabua. Whether you're welcome. The Board Chairman, Professor Wilberforce Ousu Ansai is here with us. Thank you, Chairman. The Coordinator for Free SHS, Mr. Oketeje Kwami Upokwajama, is also here with us. Thank you. We have members of our sister schools, the HES, and in our presence, I want to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Charles Buedu of Achin Senior High School, the headmaster there. The headmistress of this sector is here with us, Madam Patience, local, Laco. Madam Benedicta Antomensa, the headmistress of Diaso, is here with us. Madam, welcome. And we also have the headmaster of Chichire, and he's in the presence of the person of Mr. Batplange. Sir, you welcome. We also have chairpersons of some political parties, and I wish to introduce the chairperson of the NPP and the person of Nana Mesa. Nana, you're welcome. Mr. Chairman, as we are all aware, our school was named after the great skin of nature, or therefore born upon some detail. And as custom demands, our revered traditional leaders have joined us this morning to celebrate the memorable day. Nana Nom, you hold in high esteem the traditions and customs of Dinshira. You pass these traditions and culture to the, of our forefathers to generations yet unborn through education. With your permission, I wish to say you're welcome. Nana Nom, we are grateful. I thank you for your attention. And please, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Mrs. Intrapa, the wife of our chairperson. Shall we give it to her? Thank you very much. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much, Assistant Headmistress Domestic. A round of applause for her. And there are other dignitaries that we will acknowledge their presence as and when they join us. I think um, some names were not in the list. Please, you be acknowledged as we proceed with the rest of the activities. I humbly like to call upon the chairman as we take his speech for this day's event. So please let's welcome the chairman or therefore about Felix Intraqua to give us his speech. Thank you, sir.
Thank you, MC. Representative of the Honorable Minister for Education. Nana Ayinsua Sara the Third. Then Chirashima Mia Mehima. Honorable members of parliament, former members of parliament here, board of governors, headmistress, teaching and non teaching staff, fellow old students, distinguished invited guests, students of Buampunsim. Secondary school. Before we sat down, I heard a debate outside. Somebody said, You didn't attend Dukwa Secondary School. You attended Buamponse. I don't know why that debate should go on. So, should I say I attended Dukwa Secondary School? Nana Buamponse was a board member at the time. So it makes no difference. It's the same school. So I gladly accept my position as the chairperson to, for today's function. I am from here. I schooled here. Means I have come back home. So having accepted my appointment, I know that my business for today is to simply steer the affairs of the day and not interfere. But can I come back home and sit down quietly without saying anything? Please permit me to say a few words to my brothers and sisters who are in this school. I used to like days like this when I was a student. In fact, it was during one speech and prize giving day that I decided to become a lawyer. The guest speaker was the famous prominent lawyer and politician the late Mr. Joe Apia. His message was wonderful. The speech was so electrifying that by the end of the, the day, I took my decision to become a lawyer. That very day. So students, It is a day to be enjoyed. It is a day to remember. Because some of you from here will become big men and women and you remember your days in school. I want to use this opportunity also draw your attention to an asset you have which you may not recognize. And the asset is your school motto. I am delighted to have the opportunity to speak and draw your attention to your school motto. My idea today is to inspire you, to motivate you, and to encourage you that from this school, you can be whoever you want to be in future. You can be whatever you want to be in future. The motto has a message for you, perseverance, truth, and courage. Life 
is not as simple as sometimes we see it. There are ups and downs. If you fall, you must rise. You don't fall and remain on the ground. That is the message the school is giving you. When you are given the opportunity to serve in any capacity, you must be truthful. This is talking about your integrity, your honesty, and transparency. Without courage, you will not even see the many opportunities we have around us. And when you see them, you will not even be able to seize or make use of them. The school motto is literally a summary of what life really is. You persevere, truthful, and you master courage at all times. But there's one ingredient that you need also to know. You must believe in yourself. I got this message while I was a student here. I had been sacked from the dining hall because I owe school fees. Then together with some other students, we went to the dormitory to find some Gary Sokings. I sat on the chair, uh, on a bed. I saw a book on a student's bed. I opened just one page. And the message I still remember. It goes like this. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Without a belief in yourself, you cannot succeed. Did you hear me, students? You must believe in yourself. That is the secret to life. If you don't believe in yourself, you can't do anything. Now, from here, you can go very far. You can do so many things. The opportunity that we have, which will be discussed, is this free SHS. Do you think if I had it, I would be sacked from the uh, uh, dining hall? I remember those days, the story that went around was that the headmaster had a list of bad boys and girls. So whenever anything happened, whether a known bad boy or girl was involved or not, that person's name was first written down. Sometimes those whose names were written down already suspended. But still the headmaster believed that Udi Unya Obeye. When I came here, my first day, first subject, from the age, my teacher was pure white American. Do you imagine? The next lesson was a pure French man. And the third lesson was a duck. Ghana used to import teachers. There came a time we exported teachers. Here, it's all Ghanaian member staff. Have we not done well as a country? We should know what we have. So the message, students, prepare from here. Have your dreams from here, and you can succeed. Listen to your teachers. Listen to your parents. They all guide you in diverse ways. Because I'm not a speaker for the day, 
I want to reserve more time for the speakers, and then I'll give my short comments after hearing them. But before I sit down, I discovered something just last month, that a school in Ghana at some stage decided that they would not depend on government subvention. Is it possible in Ghana, a secondary school deciding not to depend on government subvention? But that school said, we are going to do our own farming and feed ourselves. That was the time that the policy of the state was Operation Feed Yourself. Those who are old enough, you remember Operation Feed Yourself. So, when I saw the heading of the newspaper article, which was September 17, 1974, I took interest. Which school can this be? Does anybody know the school? 1974 was there, Boaz. Now, listen. They do a secondary school, that is students to feed themselves. They do a secondary school well as from the next academic year. Not require government subvention for the purchase of Gary and plantain to feed its students. According to Mr. J. Y. Aka, headmaster of the school, this was because the school's 40-acre operation feed yourself cassava and plantain farms would yield more than the school's requirement. Other crops cultivated under the program include over 10 acres of cocoa yam, coconut, citrus, and vegetables. In an interview, Mr. Aka said that the school had also set up a poultry farm with 1,600 bears and will be self-sufficient in egg production in six months' time. In addition, it has a livestock farm of 30 sheep and hopes to establish a cattle ranch during the next farming season. This is graphic quoting Ghana News Agency. You see how you can make history in different ways. This is the history of your school. Are you not proud of this? Now, my wife and I wish our school, our great school, and all of us gathered here a successful and happy anniversary. Thank you. Two. Let's do it better for our chairman for this day's event. He has said it all. We have a, uh, we have a history and a story has to be told. Representing the Minister of Education, we have Madame Justy Ave Appel, the Acting Central Regional Director of Education. Let's show our love. Justy Ivy Appel, that's the name. Mommy, you are welcome. And we have Honorable Abraham Juma Odu, a former District Chief Executive. For Timokwa, former Deputy Local Government Minister and the President Kufo, former Deputy Minister Health and the President Kufo, former Member of Parliament Chifu Timokwa, and the consultant behind the rice boom in Nigeria. Honorable, we appreciate you. He's my father, he's my mentor, and I love him so much. He loves me more. We have the chairman for Conference of Directors of Education Central Region, Mr. Isaac Oscar Odu, who also is also the author of Cocastic Series. Mr. Odu, we appreciate you. He's a proud of that for about 1985 year group. 
The clergy here present, we acknowledge you. Onyamia sofu uradi shramo. Adamu asese modi modi onyamia betechi. We have the PTA here present. We appreciate you. Nanano, the media. We love you so much. Thanks for coming. We'll call the board chairman to come and give us a welcome address. A former president, Babsa Global. Professor Ousu Ansa. I'm humbled to invite him because I served with him as national PRO, Babsa. Prof, will come and give us a welcome address. Good morning. Oh, it's past 12, so good afternoon. And before I say a word or two, I just, I think I have my colleagues here who wants to support me. Uh, Kukastik and the rest, yeah, so. Show boys, you want to just say uh, okay. So, uh, Mr. Chair, can I kindly stand on your protocols and just proceed? So, in this case, all protocols duly. Fulfilled. It gives me a great pleasure to be here, and more importantly, to have my colleagues behind me. I think today's occasion hinges on three great things. I consider it very historic, I see it as nostalgic, and the last thing being momentous occasion. Why am I saying this? It's historic in the sense that this is the first time that we are registering all the key stakeholders in this, in, in this place. In fact, given the direction that the board is going, the board believes that the school belongs to or therefore one person. For that matter, the chiefs and Ananum should play their role in, the, in everything you do. And you must be key and central to everything that goes on. So we are so excited and privileged to have as many chiefs, including Ohima Denchahima herself, being present here. And I'm so grateful for your presence. And this is going to give a true meaning to how society, and for that matter, schools are run. And that's so apt that we have the, the team for this occasion being the what. 1.7 at 60, the role of all stakeholders. And I'm hoping and praying earnestly that all the stakeholders here will put their hands and everything, their resources, to the wheel and get us to where we want to be. I see this occasion as also very nostalgic in the sense that having left this school in 1985, this is the first time I'm seeing so many of my seniors, my juniors, all assembled here for one purpose, to really give back to Mother Was. That is very exciting, very nostalgic. And also seeing them brings to bear some of the experiences that we went through. And it's very unique. You can't believe it. You can't feel it. You can't even appreciate it until and unless you happen to be one of us. That's very important. The last thing for this occasion, I consider it as was momentous. Momentous in the sense that this is the first time to say the school is celebrating what? 60 years of existence. And it's not just 60 years for 60 years sake. It's the 60 years that has really four minds and be able to produce people who are contributing enormously towards the development of a Madagana and beyond. And we can attest to the fact that there are quite a number of old boys who have really made it in diaspora, be it in Canada, US, and all that. 
you see other former playing their youth, their role that really have energized societies they found themselves. And I think it's really important that we give ourselves a round of applause for the role one point same has done for us. What does this mean? The point I'm just registering is that we have done so well, but in spite of the fact that we've done so well for Madagana and beyond, sadly enough, Buan Pun Sim is faced with unbridled challenges. I'll talk about just two. When it comes to infrastructure, those of you who have not gone beyond here, whatever you're seeing here, you're so impressed. But just go, go beyond this block and we see the challenges you are facing. Infrastructure challenges is just, just awful. Couple with that is the issue of encroachment. And I must emphasize on encroachment. It beats my heart that when I was here in, from 1980 to 85, the length and the breadth of the land that Nanabuan Ponsum gave to us now is a shadow of itself. And we have battled, you battled and continue to battle with enormous encroachment. It is against this background that, given the theme for this occasion, I invite all stakeholders to really put our heads together, our resources together, and see how we can address two, these two fundamental issues. Infrastructure deficits and encroachment issues. On this back, on, uh, against these issues, so once we are able to address these things, I'm sure that one point same will really become the kind of university we want it to be. On these notes, I want to work, warmly welcome everybody who have come all far and near to be part of this momentous occasion. And I pray and hope that we make the best out of this occasion. Network as much as you can, enjoy as much as you can, but above all, think and reflect on how we can transform this school. I don't see it as a school, I see it as an university of venture. And it's our hope and belief that it will not remain just a secondary school, it's going to be probably the first ever university in Dentra. And if you could do that, if you could do that, it rests on you and I, and especially my nananum. And I hope and pray that we all put our heads together and resolve the conundrum that Buan Punsing finds itself. On this note, I thank you all for coming. And as I said, make sure you network and be meaningful to Buan Punsing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Board Chairman. Odefomba, a round of applause for the Board Chairman for Bon Ponson Senior High School. And uh, when I was listening to the speech of the Chairman, Odefomba in Trakwa, he said, from this school, you can become whatever you want to be. From this school, you can become whatever you want to be. And I strongly believe that this thing is really going down with all students here. This is the only school you have and you should be proud of it. And if you allow the motor of the school to pass through you, definitely you can achieve this. We continue the rest of the program by taking a song from the school choir. Head Prefect, please get ready. We take your speech after this song.
beautiful. The school brochure is still selling at 30 CDs for students and 35 CDs for all students. Grab a copy and tell the story to others. Thank you. I will at this point invite the head prefect of Great Mother Boas to come and deliver a speech. As she comes, let's show her love. I contested and lost in 99. It's not easy to be a head prefect. Show some love. The assistants, please join him. Give him the support. Where are the girls prefect? Yes. That's how we do it. Before I start to air out my speech, I would like to invite my co-prefects to join me on stage. A speech to be delivered by Master Eric Anto, the senior boys prefect during the school's Diamond Jubilee celebration on 24th September 2022. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Minister of Education, Board of Governors, Guest Speaker Nana Ayinsua Sara III, Honorable Central Regional Minister, Municipal Chief Executives, Nananum, Distinguished Personalities, the Clergy, the Headmistress, our indispensable old students, the press, Fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Diamond Jubilee anniversary of this great institution. It's afforded me much pleasure to have this opportunity to deliver this speech on this august occasion to celebrate this great school's Diamond Jubilee. To set the ball rolling, let us express our gratitude to the Almighty God for granting us the chance to convert to honor this wonderful event. Great is the Lord and he is greatly to be praised. He has taken us through another year, and by his grace, we have done the seemingly impossible and conquered the overpowering. We can only count our blessings and name them one by one, for it is only then that we can appreciate God's marvelous deeds amongst his people. Mr. Chairman, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in our illustrious history, this noble institution has carved a reputation and a niche for itself in all fields. The successes chalked by the school in all aspects, ranging from academics to sports, have simply been outstanding. This contributes in the long run to make the unmatchable and competent ladies and gentlemen produced at the end of every academic year. Mr. Chairman, the main aim of every academic institution, such as Mother Boas, is to achieve a holistic academic development of her students so that they become useful citizens to the entire populace and society. Our predecessors handed over this mantle of leadership to us not too long ago. They left us a calm, cheerful, and peaceful atmosphere for teaching and learning and imparted good morals and discipline unto us, the students. I am highly honored to say that we watered the seed sowed and, yield, and has yielded fruit for a bumper harvest. Mr. Chairman, Indeed, this is a great day and we are happy, delighted, and much more enthusiastic to be the Diamond Jubilee Babies. We have strived harder in putting the school in shape for this august occasion. Mr. Chairman, the school has chucked so many enviable successes in the past years. In academics, we have shown our intellectual proficiency, both in national science and math quiz and in the West African Secondary School Certificate Examination. To say we have done well in the National Science and Math Quiz is a bitter understatement. Our performance in the competition has been incredible, especially on the two occasions, one of which we got to the quarterfinals and the other one of which we ascended to the semifinal stage. Again, on some achievements, the school's debate club did well in the recent inter-school debate competition by picking up the first runner-up position. Still on academics, we are gratified to say that even though 
we might not be the best. We are among the relatively best schools in the country, which have succeeded in producing great men and women from other Ghana. Distinguished guests, in sports, during our 60 years in existence, we have been second to none, grabbing various trophies, left and right. Our performance over the years has simply been remarkable. No athlete could match our strength in various fields during the zonal athletics competitions. It is popularly said, hard work merits success, and our sports team give, gave credence to this adage. Mr. Chairman, with regards to discipline in general, there has been a lot of improvements as compared to the previous years. This has been possible due to the vigilance of our masters, prefects, and prompt and firm measures taken against those who break school rules. On this note, Mr. Chairman, permit me to thank teachers like Mr. Apeni, Mr. Stephen Bwedi, Mr. A.K. Abeo, and Mr. Eric Aite for their support and time during preps hours. Mr. Chairman, in spite of all the glowing achievements and victories, there are still glaring challenges that need to be tackled head on, which on the other hand serve as a hindrance to the realization of our dreams. Among the problems are lack of an assembly hall for school functions. Our small dining hall cannot take all students at a go, and this creates problems during social gatherings. With the numerous programs offered in the school, and the fact that Boas is so far the oldest senior high school in the municipality, the, pop the, popula the population of the school has increased greatly, and the school needs additional well furnished classrooms to the ones in use, which also need to be rehabilitated. One major problem bedeviling the school is the dilapidated state of the various laboratories. Apart from having most of the glass windows broken, the various laboratories lack most of the essential apparatus needed for experiments. The current deplorable state of the school's computer laboratory is very devastating. The laboratory lacks adequate computers and many other electronic gadgets for effective teaching and learning. Another big problem facing the school is walling. Since the school is not fenced, it is easy for intruders to come in, thus posing great dangers to our lives and, property, and properties. Besides, it disturbs us during preps hours. With the above outlined problems, we need the support of the government, PTA and all students to come to our aid. Mr. Chairman, Guam Ponsem Senior High School, as it is now, has gone through a lot of challenges, but we thank the almighty God for redeeming us from all this. We also thank the Board of Governors, the Headmistress, the past Headmasters, the staff, the PTA, and all stakeholders for their tremendous efforts which have brought our school this far. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, it is my wish that the school grows from grace to grace. With this, the development of our school should be our priority, and therefore, it is my humble appeal that all hands be put on deck for the development of Mother Boas to the realization of her motto, perseverance, truth, and courage. Blessed be unto Mother Boas, blessed be unto Mother Ghana, and a happy diamond jubilee to us all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Head Prefect, and your able lieutenant. You've done so well, and you have said it all. All old students will show their skills, and we are going to be led by the school choir as we sing the school anthem. Shall we be upstanding? So we have the Boas Anthem. Show your strength, old students. Call the line, sing so well. We are bringing back nostalgic feelings. We are happy to be back.
and the anthem that just sang will usher in our headmistress herself, an old student, to also give an address. Let's show some love for our headmistress. Thank you very much, MC. I'm very sure, very, very sure of it, that my son has already given my address. But as protocol demands, there is the need I add my voice. Mr. Chairman, the guest speaker, the special guest of honor, member of parliament, regional director of education, at the same time standing in for the minister of education, the municipal director, the municipal chief executive, board of governors, Nananum, invited dignitaries, the PTA, past students, staff, students, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed with profound sense of humility that I stand before you as the first female head of the school to welcome you and to give an address on the eventful occasion of six decades of the existence of this great school. Buampunsem Senior High School, under the team Buampunsem at 60, the role of stakeholders in promoting quality free SHS education for national development. Indeed, it has been long and enriching journey of 60 years of second cycle education with our highs and lows, but in all this, the Lord has been with us. Hence, we have a cause to celebrate. Mr. Chairman, May I seek your permission to begin my address with a brief history of or background of Guamponsem Senior High School. Guamponsem Senior High School is a co-educational institution established in 1961 by the first president of Ghana, Osajefu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, as one of the gets of the Ghana Education Trust schools across the country. It was initially called Dunkwa Secondary School, but this name was changed to Buamponsem Secondary School after and in recognition of one of the illustrious kings of the Dentra land, or therefore Buamponsem the Third. It was a source form secondary school during the old system of edu secondary education. The school ran such programs out of the seven programs offered by the Ghana Education Service. Currently, it is a Category B senior high school per GES classification status. Mr. Chairman, having given you and our distinguished guests a brief background of the school, I will continue with the main thrust of my message, starting with enrollment. The school currently has a student population of 2,287 students with the following breakdown. First year, 684. Second year, 674. And the third year, 929. The our cohort was 1,085. And at the time that we were registering them, we had 929. Currently, the 929 students who have been duly registered for the West African Senior High School Certificate Examination are writing the WASI 2022 with just about three days more for all of them to complete their examination, giving the indication that some of them had already completed. The school for the past three years under my tenure of office has so made steady and very impressive progress in the areas of academics. The following were impressive statistics of our steady progress in that year's examination, specifically the 2020 examination. 522 students sat for the examination. The following are impressive statistics to indicate our proud achievements. 
A total of 330 students had eight parcels in all the subjects. Core mathematics, we had seven to eight to seven students having A1. Out of the number, 45 of them were girls. Accounting, principles of custom accounting. 20 students out of the total of 34 students presented for the papers called A1. 133 got grade B2 in mathematics. 78% of the students passed the core mathematics, which are key determinants of qualification for the tertiary education. In all, more than 60% of our students who sat for the examination in 2020 had grades that qualified them to assess any tertiary education in the country. The results in the WASI 2021 were also an impressive upward jump over the 2020 results. The following are the statistical breakdown. A total of 580 students made up of 328 boys, 256 girls were registered for the examination. A total of 142 students scored grade A1 in the core subjects and 207 scored grade B. The electives were equally impressive as about 18 out of the 26 elective subjects scored 100% pass mark. In all, we had 173 grade A's in the electives. As such, more than 83% had quality passes in the core subject. When we talk of the quality passes, then it means we are talking about situations where we had a lot of the students got, getting above C, grade C. Mr. Chairman, this statistics is so refreshing because it showed an improved performance over the previous years, which were equally impressive. It is also heartwarming to note that a high percentage of our students are now performing very well in the core subject, which hitherto was not the case. This improved performance of our students at the WASI has enabled a large number of our students to assess tertiary education to study very competitive programs. Added to this laudable academic performance by the school is that monitoring of our students from our main tertiary institutions indicates that a number of our students are among the top academic performing students. Most have been given the enviable privilege to be appointed teaching assistants in the various faculties of our universities. Mr. Chairman, my brief on academic work will not complete without a mention of our exploits in the National Science and Math Quiz competition. After showing performance in our year-by-year -year participation in the enviable competition, Wampunsem Senior High took a giant step and made history by qualifying to the semi-final stage of the competition in the year 2020 edition of which we are looking forward to take the ultimate in the years ahead of us. As underdogs, we surprised the parents and the entire Ghana by eliminating favorite schools like GSTS and others to land at the semi-final stage. This is no doubt a giant killing feat and an impressive record by all standards. May I use this platform to congratulate the coordinator of the National Science and Maths Quiz Team, Mr. Emmanuel Eko Bonzi, for his tirelessness, deep dedication, and selflessness, which has contributed in no small way to our success story. The members of the team and the participating students deserve a big applause for their wonderful feat which won us two awards, one being the Newmont Ghana Prize for the most impressive 
contesting schools from a less endowed community. At this point, I will want to congratulate Peter Agoba and Franklin Apple. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, permit me to say that if a school from a less endowed community is able to show such an excellent academic performance, then I humbly submit that the school deserves all the support in terms of learning facilities to do more. One of our critical needs is the provision of a minibus that can help transport the National Science and Math Space team on their numerous trials in preparation for the contest. The resourcing of learning materials and logistics for the team are also a critical need. Mr. Chairman, you may care to know, there are the, a number of times that we want to transport our students to Cape Coast and if we happen to use the, as, uh, the Chufuprasu road, our students will just go there covered with the dust and everything. And the students see them and they always say that, where are you people from? They most of the time see that maybe we can't do what we are up to. But when we, we sit to contest and we come out, there they see that even though we are from a dusty area, what is in us is greater than what they do have. So I would just want to claim your indulgence that you will help us in this way. But above all achievements, give a testament, a testament to the fact that the school has made significant academic progress over the years. My diligent staff and I have been able to build upon the equally good foundation of my predecessors predecessors. I therefore want to assure this August gathering that we shall continue to do our best to continue raising the academic achievement. Here, then I do come out to congratulate my able staff and I say that thumbs up for you all. Congratulations for the good work that you are doing. The school under my tenure office to hold on strongly to sound academic pathways. I believe that discipline, which is a short tool for sound academic laurels, is unwavering and non-negotiable. As a school, we continue to adhere strictly to the GES code of conduct that guides students' behavior in the second cycle schools. The administration, the disciplinary committee, with the help of the entire teaching and as well as the prefectorial body, have been able to enforce and maintain discipline at all fronts. The counseling unit has also been of immense help with their periodic counseling sessions. This well-structured system has contributed to ensure a serene atmosphere for sound academic work to prevail. No doubt, our school has not witnessed any student route over the years. Also, it is gratifying to note that Wampunsim Senior High School has never and will never be mentioned or involved in any route, examination or practices that may warrant any YA sanction over the years. Despite the improved academic work, maintenance of sound discipline and other positives, the school continues to suffer highly in terms of infrastructure deficit. Notable area of great concern is the lack of an assembly hall. The school since, since its establishment in 1961 has not gotten the facility of an assembly hall. Over the years, the school uses the dining hall which was built for a highly limited number of sitting capacity. Currently, it is used as an assembly hall for all official gatherings, such as church service, examination, social gatherings, everything that we do in the school. The dining hall, which has the capacity to contain only 150 students at a go, is highly over capacity considering the current student population which is over 2,000. Dining is therefore done in batches, 
resulting in severe waste of valuable contact times. Sometimes the students eat in the open space under the scorching sun when other official programs are being held in the hall. And in situations like this, we find a lot of our benches and then the tables getting destroyed most of the times. It is not a good story to narrate, considering the years the school has been in existence. In fact, most Ghana Education Trust schools that were established in the same year as Buampon Senior High School are now streets ahead of Boas in terms of infrastructure development. May I therefore use this occasion to appeal to all stakeholders. When you talk of stakeholders, the PTA, the old students, the government, and all willing people who have the heart of giving for the growth of their community, they are being called upon to come and help the school. The central government, we really need support. I'm very glad that the coordinator, the central regional coordinator for the free SHS is here with us. Okatechi, let your, boy, your bosses hear our voice. We are in their need of infrastructure. They should come to our aid. NGOs around, please come and support Mother Boas. The facilities that we see in the school to be very frank, doesn't befit our status, a school that is 60 years. Mr. Chairman, another area that the school is suffering inadequacies in the area of dormitories. Dormitories. And then the classrooms. As it is raining now, had it not been this gathering, I would have claimed your indulgence for us to go to the girls' dormitory and see how the block is really leaking. Our two girls are really suffering. There are serious cracks in the room, and the most serious aspect of it is in situations where we have our electrical cables and other things running down. When it rains, you, you find the girls, their situation is very bad. If you go to the boys' dormitory, the Ghana block that is the only boys' dormitory there for our students, the situation is so pathetic. So I want to claim the indulgence of all stakeholders. Please come and support us. It's good. I know the MP is doing his best. The MP, MC is trying. The traditional council need more. Further to the civil engineer, we have been able to produce a lot of great men. Matters in the school concerning our dormitory situation and the classroom situation became so worse on the 3rd of February, 2020. It is a situation that most of the times I don't want to recollect because that was the day I wept seriously in the office when one of our boys' dormitories was gutted by fire. A woman, what do I do? Someone who has just assumed office not quite long. What am I facing? We had to run, but with abled men around, we were able to quench the fire. But as we sit now, the block that they said that they are starting to replace the old bent one still is at the foundation level. We actually don't know. And thus, in the very worst situation, is seriously affecting our enrollment in the school. And we can just imagine one person being the senior school in the municipality. Everybody wants to be in Boas, but accommodation. This is actually denying the people of the entire land the opportunity to assess the free SHS policy. Nananom, Nananom, please. Come, come. The school has been named after an illustrious chief in the community. Look at our name. Consider our name and consider our plight and then come and support us. 
because of this, management has taken a critical situation where we have to convert some of our classrooms into dormitories, meaning that our classroom situation too is affected. We wouldn't want to talk much, but with this, everybody here, all stakeholders around will have to know where we stand. Our request is on and on and on. In this era where ICT has become something that even the basic school children, we are educating them on it. Buan Ponsem has gone a step further, has taken ICT as a, an elective subject without a befitting ICT lab. The school prefect has mentioned it, so I wouldn't dwell much on it. But to make our students very competitive in this world that the digital divide has become something, then we should be considered in terms of a befitting ICT lab so that we can also go ahead. And to crown it all, the head, the head of the school, if I say the head, Mr. they will see that the, the woman is being selfish. I don't have a vehicle. In central region, wherever that you find yourself, all meetings kept post. Go to Takrade, go to Accra, and our, your bosses will tell you, be in Accra by 7 a.m., knowing where we find ourselves. Without a vehicle, then you have to compete. Use a commercial vehicle. You will be there late. And most of the times when you go, you go, and the kind of embarrassment and other things that you face. So I want to use this opportunity. MP, I know you've tried for us. We have the bus, but I need a pickup. I need a pickup to make my work so easy so that I can continue to discharge my duties as effective as you want me to do. Buan Ponsem Senior High School also faces a serious challenge in the area of lack of school fence wall. Nana Hima, our school, by the history that I came to it, I schooled here and I know it, and I've come to read it too, that Nana Nung gave Buan Ponsem one square mile one square mile, a piece of land for the growth of the school. But as I stand here, the one square mile is no more one square mile. The encroachment of our, on our land is so serious to the extent that if there is going to be any proper development in the school, we will have a problem. The chairman just mentioned that in 1974, the headmaster, the then headmaster of the school made the pronouncement. And I also remember very well that at the time that I was a student, we were having a big school farm down there where we visit every Saturday morning. But now, all these land have been encroached upon. There were a lot of buildings on our school land. If you talk about it, it is something for such problem. That one is Nananum. So I want to leave the encroachment on the school land to Nananum. And even go ahead to say that those who have their buildings on our school land, if it will be possible, Nananum should help us fence the school. If we are not going to fence the school, there should be proper landmarks there for those outside to know that this is a no-go zone so that they will not be there that the heads of the school wouldn't become enemies of the land. I will want to conclude by saying that emphasis, I want to make emphasis on the need for the renovation of all the blocks in the school. Every single block in the school need a kind of renovation one way or the other. Even though with our scarce resources in my tenure of office, 
I've been able to renovate some of the blocks. But because considering the state, the extent at which the, dilapidate, the, the dilapidation of the blocks are, whatever that you do, people don't see it. No matter what you do, people don't see it. Because the cost involved in invo renovating a single block costs you so much that in this era, this free SHS era, the heads, we are limited. That is why we are saying that to have proper education, to enjoy the policies that the government is bringing up, then there is the need for all stakeholders to put their hands together. We should all come together. The school can't do it all alone. Nananum should come in. Community leaders should come in. All students should come in. Meaning that we are calling on everybody, the clergy, we wouldn't leave you out. Everybody should come in to build Matabuas. In other situations, people have been coming. So on this note, I want to express my sincere appreciation to people who, has, who have helped us to attain this point. Mr. Chairman, our challenges are many, In, but people have been helping us, they've been supporting us, then they need to be recognized. I wouldn't want to go far, but to start from the chairman himself. The chairman and his fa family. To be very specific, the chairman and his wife, they visit us most of the time. On an occasion, they visited us, they looked at the water situation, and they had to sink one borehole. It has been mechanized. There is a polytank on it that is really serving us, and we are very grateful. Another year group also drilled another mechanized borehole at the kitchen. That's the 1983 year group. They realized that at the time that we were students, we had to fetch water to the kitchen, and if we continue fetching water to the kitchen, it will affect our learning. So we have another ball hole there. Other individuals, year groups, religious organizations, Nananom, members of parliament, they have all come to our aid. But some of them need to be mentioned. Ghana Block. I remember all students who ever slept in Ghana Block, even from the time that the block was new, there was a kind of meat around it. The boys who stayed there, they will be able to testify to this fact very well, that the, bo the block is going to sink. The block is going to sink. Now, if you go there, <laughs> it's another story to tell. But the 1975 year group and the 1978 year group and then the school, we have been able to re-roof the Ghana block. Another year, 1989 year group in collaboration with management also renovated one master's bungalow to the tune of 46,000. The year group donated a sum of 20,000 as their support towards that project. Special mention must be made of the following personalities for their support to the school over the years. Reverend Kingsley Apieje is unfortunate he is not here with us. He has a special passion for the school. Before even I came, he had been helping the school. And during my time, he, has all, he helped us build a special resource room dedicated solely for the school's national science and maths quiz team. Professor Edunya and Westminster, Victoria Mufapia, Honorable Emilia Nkuma, former MCE, Honorable Nana Mwakun, Evangelist Kofia Hinakwa, Professor Wusu Ansan, the board chairman, Sister Akos Aman Sunwab, the proprietor of a, a preparatory school here, Mr. Apia Foss, that's the senior brother of the current MCE, Mr. Charles Afari Mensah, 
Alaji Mulitala Salidaga. They are the few individuals. When now dormitory was gathered by fire, they were here. And they, some of them donated exercise books, bill of used clothing, and other personal effects to the school to minimize the challenges during the height of the crisis of the bent dormitory. Other Babsa year groups also supported us. We had trunks, towels, floor towels, plywood, iron rods, paint, water closets to support the school during our crisis moment. The year groups were ready to mention are 1985, 1987, 1992, 1993, and 1995. Others include 1982, 1984, 1988, and 1977. I need to commend Mr. James Owusu-Ansan, an old student, and Mr. David Dapa. Initially, they only gave me the name Naso. Nassau brought us water closet bowls and other things to renovate the Agege Brook. When we started with the work, in no time, then the fire came. Other religious bodies also have been to our aid. Very important to mention is the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, the Methodist Church of Ghana, the Church of Pentecost area head all came to support with donation of items such as roofing sheets, bags of cement, and other building effects. The Dunquao Teachers Credit Union, the Municipal Assembly, the Dentra Traditional Council, and the Dunquao Development Association donated assorted goods to the school. The school is very grateful to the following individuals and year groups for their immense contribution towards the 60th anniversary. The list is so tall, but specific mention should be made to Mr. Edward Appenton and Honorable Festus Kofi and the MCE. They supported us with buckets of paint to make the school beautiful. Special mention should be made to the 1990 year, 1993 year group for funding the total painting of the administration block. Dunkwa Traditional Council, they donated 10,000 Ghana cities after the bent of the boys' dormitory. Honorable Wichmont Kodia, District Chief Executive, Upper Dentra West, Mr. James Owusu Ansa again, Ibrahim and Anyas, and all of their former across the globe who in diverse ways assisted us towards the launch of the anniversary. BAPSA for their financial support during the launching of the anniversary another assistance. Babsa gave the school 10,000 cities to give the school a face lift. Honorable Ebenezer Forsen Apia, Upper Dentra East Municipal Chief Executive, for his personal and other, and that of the support of the assembly. If you look at the days that we are standing on, he has helped the school erect those days. For all others, which time and space may not permit us, you are highly well acknowledged. A lot of all students have actually contributed towards the awards. We have a lot of them that in the right time, at the right time, they will be mentioned. Mr. Chairman, the above donations of immense benefit to the school and I stand here once again to enormously thank the above individuals, Babsa Year Groups, Corporate Organs, Nananum, 
religious organizations, MPs, MCEs, and all, the, all others that you are highly acknowledged in all our records for your wonderful gestures. Let me beg to say, purchase any name is omitted. It may not be deliberate, but an over per chance any name is omitted. It may not be deliberate, but an oversight. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Minister of Education, guest of honor, and all distinguished guests, 60 years journey of the school has not been easy. We have our highs and lows, but you can bear with me that in the midst of this severe infrastructure deficit, we have been very impressive by all standards. As far as our academic records are concerned, we have churned out a lot of good citizens and quality human resources who are in the commanding heights of our Ghanaian economy and abroad. We have been able to achieve these impressive but modest successes through the cooperation of my staff, and I am indeed grateful. Other stakeholders like the PTA, past students also need mentioning for their support. However, more, and I really mean more, need to be done. Let me use this opportunity to thank the MC for the municipality and member of Upper Densha constituency for the, my distinguished guest, Nanaima, for the support so far. Also, I want to appreciate all donors who supported the school in, in either cash or service to make this 60th anniversary a possibility. The decoration we are seeing here is by an old student. We are very grateful. Mr. Chairman, distinguished guest, my vision and tax when I took up the administration of the school on September 2018 was to improve learning outcomes of every student as well as transforming this school into a center of excellence. My passion to do this was challenged by numerous infrastructure challenges that confront the school. However, I strongly took up the challenge by managing scarce resources to carry out some facelifts and physical developments that are necessary to sustain effective teaching and learning. Indeed, with the support from the staff, my hands were strengthened to achieve some remarkable gains for the school. I therefore call on all stakeholders to help me and my administration with the needed resources to enable us continue to offer quality free SHS education for the total development of our motherland, Ghana. In conclusion, as the first female head of the school, and an old girl, I would tenaciously hold on to our cherished good practices that has brought us thus far and not to be complacent, but harness all available resources as well as to work with discipline, which is our trump card to improve upon all current standards. We will be doing all this through the guidance of our inspirational school motto perseverance, truth, and courage. I thank you all for your attention and coming to join us celebrate this anniversary. May the almighty God bless us all. Thank you. You can do that again. A round of applause for the head of the school. Thank you very much, madam. We know the head of institutions are the pivot around which many aspects of the school evolves. And I'm glad to say, madam, you played your part very well. Thank you very much. We call upon the Boas Cultural Troop to give us a cultural display. I also like to remind you that Bapsa, Souvenirs, the Lacoste, baseball caps, key holders and pens are available at the administration. So kindly Get a copy if you don't have.
This program is live on Dincha Radio and Dincha Man One on Facebook, streaming live. We also like to acknowledge all the staff of this school, both teaching and non-teaching staff. Please, can you wave? All the staff members, can you wave so we can see you? Thank you very much. And all the media partners, we acknowledge your presence, all the media partners. I also like to acknowledge um, the representative for the principal for the Dunkwa Nelson and Middle Free Training School, Mr. Achampong Boateng. You are welcome, sir. And uh, we have the donation table right beside the administration block. If you have any donation for the school, kindly visit the table and your details will be taken. The cultural troop, you have five minutes. We have far behind time. Kindly be quick as we proceed with the rest of the program. Students doing the poetry recital after this display, please get ready. Get ready. Those students should get closer to the days that you come close to where we are standing. Here are the next after this display. Those who are going to help us with the poetry recital should come close to the days. We do not have much time. So if we don't see them after this performance, we'll skip and then move on to the next item on the program. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Zinabu Mohammed, for the short poetry recital. We'll continue the rest of the program by taking a speech from the guest speaker for today's program. And uh, to introduce the person, I'd like to call upon the chairman for this occasion to do us this honor. Chairman. Doing a lot of work today. A round of applause for Chairman Asi. Okay, so, um, 
is the fact. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see consultations taking place, <laughs> we need not tell you something is. <laughs> Yes, as part of my duties for today, I have the singular honor to introduce the guest speaker. It's taken a, a few seconds for me to do this work because I needed to change names. Present here with us is Mrs. Ivy Apple, Acting Regional Director of Ghana Education Service. She is here to represent the Minister for Education. Let's give her a hand. Thank you very much, Chairman. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, I am Justine Ivy Apple, the Acting Regional Education Director. By in the capacity, standing in the shoes of the Minister of Education and the Deputy Minister of Education to read the speech of the Minister of Education. Mr. Chairman, special guest of honor, Minister Director of Education, Member of Parliament, Chief Executive, Board of Governors, Nananumu, invited dignitaries, the PTA, PALS, students, staffs, students, ladies and gentlemen. It is my greatest honor and pleasure to be among you in Denshra land, and more specifically, Buamposa Senior High School, to celebrate 60 years anniversary of this great school under the team Buamposa Senior High School at 60, the role of the stakeholders in promoting quality free senior high school education for national development. Before I proceed further, let me use this ground platform to appreciate all the founding fathers, especially our late lustrous and much revealed traditional chief of Denshra, Odifo Bua Bonsa the third, who saw the wisdom in the establishment of this great school by giving about one square mile, mile land for the building of the school by the then CPP government in 1961. To the Panyan headmaster, Mr. Kwao Mbia, succeeding heads, generation of teachers and non teaching staff, past and present students, past and present board members, PTA executives, I salute all of you gallantly for your roles in contributing to the development of education in Ghana from the sixth form days to present. 
Special appreciation goes to the Obahima of Dentry, Dentry, and our guests of honor for today's event, Nana Amma Ayensua Sarah the Third, and all Nananmu for your goodwill, strength, and spirit behind this undoubtedly great school. As a school, you deserve not only a pat on your back, but a big handshake for your effort so far. 60 years of second cycle education is no means an achievement, and you all deserve to survive every inch of it. It is a journey of quality education, well-traveled, from the President Nana Akufo Addo and my ministry. I say congratulations to all of you, Ayuko. Mr. Chairman, I must sincerely admit that on such occasion, nothing can be more appropriate than the team of the team for the celebration, which is one person at 60, the role of the stakeholders in the promoting quality free senior high school education for nation development. In September 19, in September 2017, the MPP government under the able, dynamic, and visionary leader. Leadership of Nana Adodan Kwaku Fuadu launched and implemented the free senior high school education policy. It was a bold educational policy that is geared to change the face of education in Ghana. Mr. Chairman, in education, there are three things you have to do to make it workable relevant to the future of your country. The three things are access, quality, and relevance. But these three things, which I call educational trinity, cannot be tackled separately, but concurrently if the society is to have full impact of its benefits. This concurrently tackling is what is called leapfrogging inequality. So we embark on this bold venture by increasing access through the double track system. In fact, availability data shows that in the first year alone, in the enroll out of the policy, about 150,000 more students were added onto the existing number. And today, senior high school enrollment has reached more than 1.6 million students. We had to take that initiative to increase enrollment with the double track system in the first year because time and space will not permit us to build blocks at that short interval. And it could be suicidal to let young minds, our children, the junior high school graduates, miss second cycle education due to lack of access. As time went on, the succeeding years, we embark on massive rollout of building of classrooms, dormitories, and other learning facilities. Today, about 80% of the double track schools are about to run a single track due to enhanced infrastructure provision. We are doing this without compromising quality and relevance. In that direction, we, start, we started looking at the curriculum at the basic level and secondary level as well with the Common Core Program, CCP, uh, we are rolling out. 
Mr. Chairman, in the 21st century, rules and memorization of facts and figures is no longer significant to change the fortunes of a country. So the CCP, which focuses on the acquisition of the four R's and core competence, will afford the learners the ability to apply knowledge innovatively to solve everyday problems, as well as meet the demands and requirements of the global job market. Today, about 1.6 million of Ghanaian children, GSS graduates, who, other than that, may be missing out of SHS education due to lack of access and poverty or funding challenges uh, in school. Mr. Chairman, for us to catch up with the developed country, moving from the third world to the first world country, we must do something drastic and innovative. This drastic, bold initiative is founding To us, education is more of an investment than just the cost. Also, knowledge and talent are not for the rich and privileged alone. And that free SHS education widens the gates of opportunity to every child, especially those whose talents are arrested because of poverty. Indeed, the consequences of not educating the youth are there for the individual families and the economy. Through the free SHS policy, we have succeeded in providing a level playing field for every Ghanaian child with the pathway to realize his or her dreams in order to provide the robust resilient and cutting edge human capital needed to compete on the global job market. And this to us as a nation is the only sure way or cap catalyze that can capitate us to join our developed countries. Mr. Chairman, it is against this backdrop that I consider the theme of the celebration at 60, the role of the stakeholders in the promotion, quality, free senior high school education for national development and more than that. National development can be achieved if we possibly use education as a tool to and unearth every talent and ability of our future generation. Therefore, as your Minister of Education, I want to use this August platform to urge all of our stakeholders of education, that is parents, past students, traditional leaders, religious or faith-based organizations, corporate world to give trust and, and allow support to the free senior high school policy because that is one of the sure ways to close the gap between the haves and the have-nots. Indeed, that is the way to give hope to the many brilliant but poor Ghanaian children in the far area that we cannot reach. Our poor isolated villages, as well as the many hamlets scattered around the country, that hope and help is near. In this vein, past students, parents, corporate firms, and etc. can still partner government in the most healthy way to assist 
our schools to produce better learning outcomes in any way possible. Parents, our part must, our part must instill high level of discipline that are deeply rooted in our culture, upbringing, in our children. This will ensure that they take their education seriously so as to maximize the giant that comes with the policy of free SHS. Mr. Chairman, to ensure that our education is quality and relevant, the Ministry of Education is rolling out or establishing 10 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM schools. We believe that to achieve sustainable national development and to move the nation from being drawing and halting of water and wood, from being just an exporter of raw agro-based product to value-added process products from a third world to a first world country. We need to reinforce and calibrate out education more on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics courses rather than the humanities. So as part from the, so apart from massive rolling, re-rolling of about 780 senior high school in the country, we, the, we, with the needed learning tools in the laboratory and classroom, we need to have one stop state of the arts learning center to provide the best form of STEM education. An education that can be compared with the best in the world. So today, at Abosomi in the Eastern Region, Bosom Tree in the Ashanti Region, Awaso in the Western North and other regions, we have started and almost completed with some, with some of these schools to kick start the roll out of the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education, STEM. Mr. Chairman, all dignitaries gathered here, education is indeed the pulse of the nation. Hence, we need the collaborative effort of all the stakeholders, as earlier as early mentioned, like the parents, past students, traditional leaders, corporate firms, and the student to play their active roles to partner the big stakeholders, that is government and management of our respective schools to develop them into learning centers of excellence. Mr. Chairman, during all these five years of implementation of the free SHS policy, the call for review and stakeholders' engagement has been coming. In the past few days of this month, the issue has come up strongly again. So let me once again use Mr. Chairman, during all these five years of implementation of free SHS policy, call for review and stake few days of this month. The issue has come up strongly. suggestions, ideas, and concerns from all stakeholders 
development partners because such consultations and engagements help to keep us active and to direct our path for the overall national goal. However, let me hasten to say that in all our call and desire for review and suggestions, we should try and avoid any push for a policy that will make founding or economic circumstances or background deny or be a barrier to any Ghanaian child to access SHS or divert education. The old adage says it all. We exploit you have achieved in helping to build the American dream through your work in education. So come down and help me change the face of education in Ghana. The response to this request from him was not easy coming because I was, on, I was one of the few black Africans who, can help, who was helping in building the American dream through my educational establishment in California. And that was a comfort zone for me. So I consulted my white mentor and he, in response, made a profound statement. He said, yeah, America can do without you, but Ghana cannot do without you. Which is a game changer to help us leapfrog to catch up with the rest of the world. And let me say that when you have determined president like Nana Adodankwa Akufado, everything is possible. Indeed, we are changing the face of education in Ghana, the type of education that will provide access to quality second cycle education to every Ghanaian born child, irrespective of his or her parents' economic background, to realize his or her dream. Yes, that is how we hasten the most important resources, the human capital to build a prosperous society. In this regard, I charge all the corporate firms, small, medium, and large, that as part of their corporate society responsibilities, they give back to their schools to develop them. Mr. Chairman, the address will not be complete without specifically addressing my students, my young mind. I, change, I charge you to take advantage of these opportunities provided by the free SHS, free TVET, to study hard and unleash your potentials. Avoid holigalism and any form of indisciplined behavior. So as to be in charge of all commanding heights of our economy. I see ministers among you, and I see even future presidents of Ghana among you. Try all that you can to make good the gain of the huge investment the nation is making in you through the free senior high school policy. And you dare not fail. Mr. Chairman, special guest of honor, member of parliament, directors of education, minister, chief executive, 
board of governors, nananumu, parents, past students, past students, and present staffs, ladies and gentlemen. As I bring my address to an end, let me say that I am highly impressed by the academic achievement of the school for the past 60 years. Notably, your outstanding exploits in the National Science and Math Quiz competitions, especially your inspirational, holistic semi-final position during the 2020 edition. I am so much impressed that even with your infrastructure challenges and an enumerated by as enumerated by the headmistress in her address, you have and continue to make giant strife in your academic pursuit by continuously changing out good grade and in your quasi for the past years. Indeed, Buam Posma Senior High School had contributed immensely to the overall development of quality secondary education to Ghana over the years. In that view, I promised the school that I have opened a strong access to their request. And as soon as I leave here, back to Accra, the headmistress, the board, and all the key stakeholders should start the engagement with my office to see how we can quickly, through government and other corporate firms, assist the school to get some of their needed resources. In fact, you are going to get a fair share of the national cake. Mr. Chairman, guests of honor, Madam Headmistress, and all dignitaries present, once again, I am honored to be among you in Dentral Land to celebrate with a great school that takes its lineage from the great king of Dentra. Odifo Bua Amposam, the third. Your story as a school is impressive. Happy anniversary and enjoy the best of the occasion as you look up to the future with greatness. Congratulations. God bless you and God bless Ghana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. Please, the name is Bua Mponsim Senior High School. Bua Mponsim. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Owner of car number GT155718, please. The position of a vehicle supposed to be moved away. Thank you very much. And Honda DV4253E. Owners of these vehicles, kindly move your vehicles. Thank you very much. I also like to acknowledge the presence of the headmaster for I Am Free SHS, Mr. Kingsley Ekins. Thank you very much for joining us. From the donation table, we received the following donations. Um, Dunkwa NMTC, 1,000 Ghana cities. Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel Ashite, 500 Ghana cities. Dunkwa Traders Cooperative Credit Union, 1,000 Ghana cities. And St. Stephen Catholic Church, 500 Ghana cities. All students should be seated. Students loitering around should be seated, please. We'll continue with the rest of the program by taking short consolidatory messages from the MCE, the MP, the Municipal Director of Education, the PTA, Heads of Sister Schools. Uh, we also take a message from Honorable Odum, former DC, former Deputy Minister. And please, it's not in any particular order, but we start with a
So we will take the consolidatory messages and uh, I'd like to call upon the Municipal Chief Executive Officer, Executive for Upper Dentra East, to give us a short message. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, for today's program, or therefore by lawyer Felix Ntrapa, Dinchahema, my own mother, Nanama Ayinsua Sara, the third. Dignitaries at the high table, Nananom, I stand on an existing protocol. In fact, um, I didn't get opportunity to attend Buam in Senior High School, but I attended Buam in Senior High School in the Ashanti region. That's Brimper College. And so this afternoon, I also call myself Odefoba. I am Odefoba, a visa for Senapia. And I'm happy to be here. If I'm listening to the speakers, and especially the headmistress, I know we are celebrating the good achievements of this great school, but we also acknowledge the fact that more needs to be done. And I want to join the headmistress as we call on the old students, I've seen a lot more of them around, to come back and support the alma mater. Government is doing very well listening to the speech read by our acting regional education director. We are doing very well for the senior high school across the country. But we need all stakeholders to come on board. One day, I came to the school unannounced and I called the headmistress. It was around 10 p.m. And so the headmistress joined me and she took me around the various dormitories. In fact, I wasn't happy with the scene that I saw. And so all students of this great school, as we have come here and we are all remembering our time when we were on campus, we need to come back and contribute to the school that has made us who we are today. On behalf of the president and the regional minister, I say I equal to the great family of this great school for this great day, a historic day of the school's history. It's the fact that 60 years of providing quality education, in my opinion, is a positive influence on several young boys and girls. It is no small achievement, and I see this unique occasion to wholly congratulate both past and present board governors, headmistress, and past headmistress, and headmasters of this great school, the PTA, the staff, and the student body for this feat achieved. You have, through your tireless effort, helped in shaping an enviable stand for the school, and I heartily congratulate you on your sterling achievement. We have heard the great achievement of this school, especially in academics and sports. As we may know, second cycle education is a path to the opportunities and benefits of economic and social development. Thank you, Honorable Chief Executive. He mentioned BAPSA and the contribution the old students would have to give back to the school. The president of BAPSA Global is here to also give us a solidarity message. Very short. And he told me he wouldn't spend more than two minutes. Let's give it up for Mr. Echo Hughes or therefore Bar. Thank you, Mr. MC. Um, Mr. Chairman, M Madam Guest Speaker, Guest of Honor, a privilege to stand before you this afternoon to give us um, a goodwill message from the General Babsa at, um, at large. It is my pleasure to congratulate the entire Bumpontem Senior High School community as we celebrate its 60th anniversary. I recently started my role as the president of the Bumpontem Past Students Association, Babsa. I am excited to join the school in celebrating 
this significant milestone in the history of this great institution. It is founding, since its founding in 1961, the school has become highly recognized for its innovative approach to education and supply of quality products to the tertiary institutions and the business world. As the school has touched countless lives through the, the six decades of existence in applied learning and community outreach, I am confident that we will continue to play meaningful and significant roles in the advancement of education in Dunkwa Township and its environment. Occasions like this one are wonderful reminders that great things are happening. It is my wish that every affiliated, everyone affiliated to our alma mater will take time to reflect and also take pride in all of the incredible accomplishments chalked for the past six decades. I want to digress a little bit. Nanahimba, like predecessors have already said, I want to hammer on it that our school, the land gifted to the school, was one square mile. But as we speak, it has reduced. I don't think if it's even up to half of a square mile because um, encroachers have encroached on it. And the school lands are dwindling on the north, on the east, on the west, and then on the south. And it's very, very saddening. So then I will want to seek time. You give us time so that we'll come and then sit down and then discuss things over in that area. Thanks to all the alumni, school board, school management, teaching and non-teaching staff, both past and present, stakeholders and the upper east municipality. I will take this opportunity to humbly appeal to all PAD students, I mean all PAD students, to offer assistance in cash and in kind to help improve the status of the school, more especially the dining hall expansion project. And it is sad, as building that, can, that should take 150 people only, now harbors more than 2,000 students when it's time for dining or school gathering, morning assembly and all the projects. Congratulations, Buampontem Senior High School, once again on your anniversary of history. Making the future is bright for the school and I look forward to working with you all to support our communities and future generations of quality education in the 21st century and beyond. The next 60 years looks very bright. Happy anniversary to our dear mother, Boaz. Order for Mboa. Order for Mboa. Order for Mboa. Yeah, you have to go for. Amen. Order for Mboa. What a former Bosom Kesia Palma, a year president Babsa Gluba. So, yes, seven years here, Yamwa. It was a there for Moa. I just will be a Moa. Bosom Yama, a year president Babsa Gluba. And one of the Yamwa. And yet, Abo, it's your Yamwa. What a shy Yamwa. What I ever saw Jim is in a do and bring you an alpha. Um, we continue to take the goodwill messages. We would like to call upon the Member of Parliament for Upper Denture East, Honorable Dr. Festus Iwa Kofi, to give us a very short speech. Thank you.
Thank you, MC. Thank you very much. Odefo Moa. It means Odefo Yede Yemoa. Aha. That is what he was trying to me. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, as lawyer Felix Inchakwa, who is our current the special guest of honor. Um, those who don't know, lawyer Inchakwa was a key financier um, during our 50th anniversary about 10 years ago. Um, our only pain mother, I'll be with you. Nana ma ayinsua sara the three number three a otosu miensa. Tenjira hima a pain mother. He is she is one of the few educated pain mothers that we have in the country. And I, I want I don't want to read your profile. I know somebody will come here and, and read your profile, so I reserve those. Uh, credible achievement that you've been able to chop. Our acting president, Dasibe Odo Akanti, number three, that's the third. Number two is also in this post currently because of some reasons. Um, Dr. Yao Edichum, the Minister of Education. Like the original Director of Education indicated, you have loved to be here. Dr. Educhum, those who don't know, schooled in Dunkwa for some time um, in the 60s, and therefore his heart is really here, and we have loved to come attend this very program for some reasons. Um, he was among the team that joined the president um, to visit the, to attend the UN conference. Nanano, Today, you have made this very event very colorful with your kente and your cultural display. You have to make it. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. The parents, guardians, teaching, and non teaching staff, and all students, ladies and gentlemen. It's very pleasing to have joined Bob in St. Senior High School fraternity today as we celebrate this very auspicious occasion, since the anniversary. I accept my greetings from His Excellency, the President, Ronaldo Dankwa Akufuado, and all the colleagues parliamentarians. Indeed, it is a rare pleasure for me to address this message of solidarity to you. Let me first acknowledge and thank the organizers of this year's speech and prize giving day. It's really admirable and commendable that we have put things together and mobilized such speakers on this very occasion. The headmistress singularly mentioned few old students who have contributed towards the development of Pompensim. But I want to emphasize, Mr. Edward Appenting, current commissioner for domestic, and Kwame Tuneboa, they have also contributed so much to the school development. We also thank the appreciation, uh, express, our special appreciation goes to the headmistress and the entire team for successful performance during the school WASI examination. And the best of this kind is a period where all stakeholders in and outside Ghana connect to celebrate and remember our alma mater in different ways. It is a cause to celebrate, a reason to pause, to reevaluate, a remembrance, an inspiration, a time to honor the achievements. As a member of parliament for the constituency, I pray to support the quality of teaching and, and learning in the upper the constituency, with this school being one of the targeted beneficiaries. It should, however, be noted that the name Dr. Fessy Wakofi is not new to Guam Pennsylvania School. As an individual in my private capacity, I taught in this school between 1992 to 1994, just immediately after the national service, and also served this institution as a board member for several years. And also a key financier during the 50th anniversary, after which 
I adopted the school library and stocked it with relevant uh, learning materials. Upon assumption of office as a member of parliament in 2020, I collaborated with the headmistress to get the school brand new bus, which was handed over to the school on the 3rd of June this year. And I must emphasize, the Minister of Education, Dr. Yao Edichu, really played a significant role in getting us this bus. It was given to us on exceptional basis, and we are very grateful by like Oliver Twist, who always asks for more and belief. Anytime we knock on his door, he will come to our aid. Let me also this, this opportunity to inform the garden here that I'm currently lobbying for an ICT center and a new school lab for the school. It will be materialized very soon. If the headmistress will recollect, somewhere five months ago, I made him talk, speak to the Minister of Education early in the morning, 7 a.m., to discuss this ICT issue. On that form, uh, some old students have also very instrumental in making this year's anniversary very successful. But there is still more to be done. The infrastructure deficit of the school cannot be breached only by the government. I would therefore urge all students of the school to take up the projects on the school on a year group basis. In every year group, after some years of completed schools can take a project, the school I will improve the infrastructure development of the school immensely. Just as the barber admonishes us to train children away, they should go. They don't depart from it. I will also admonish that the habit of helping our alma mater should be inculcated in the student while they are in school so that they will not depart from it after completing. I will take this opportunity to thank parents who are also gathered here for the role that they are playing to tell the success story of the school. Parents should note that they have a responsibility for creating good values and sound moral character in their children. I believe strongly that with a better coordination between parents and teachers, the school can improve on its results. I would also like to urge the encroachment of the school land as we said separately here. I remember when I was a board member, when I was a board member in this school, lands were taken to safeguard the land that we are given to our forefathers. In most times, when you use the word, it has been encroached, uh, I, I, I tend to disagree with you that it has been encroached. It has been sold out. The lands have been sold out. That is the word we should use. The lands have been sold out. The last engagement I had with the town municipal town planning officer, Madam Headmistress, according to the town planning hello. officer, hello. One, we two. don't have hello. any plan in place. And therefore, if you go and conduct any search, it will not indicate that the entire one mile uh, stretch of land or square meter was for board. So, liaise with the, the lady in charge, Benedicta, for us to have a new side plan for the school. Then we deal accordingly with those who have encroached our land. I must also indicate that the campus road is part of the phase two of urban road construction. And therefore, we should see a significant change in the next few years when we come here. I will therefore, I will therefore hasten to process of getting the ICT center and the science lab for the school to assist you in your studies and also to ensure the few issues which needs urgent attention are also addressed for better results. God bless you and thank you all for your audience and happy 60th anniversary. Thank you. Thank you very much. A round of applause for the Member of Parliament.
for Upper Dentra East Municipality. We also like to acknowledge the following individuals for their contributions. As I said, the donation table is right behind us. Um, Wesley Methodist Church has donated 2,200 Ghana cities in support of the program. Nana Kojo Sebe Ajiman III, 2,000 Ghana cities. Okufrobo Obin Nyakun III, 1,000 Ghana cities. And 50 bucks of cement to support the project in the school. Thank you very much for your contribution. We are still waiting for loved one to support this great initiative. We'll call upon the PTA to give us a short goodwill message. The PTA. Respectfully, Mr. Chairman Nanahima, I stand on the already established protocol to deliver this message. It is, not that, uh, it is no doubt that 60 years in the life of a, any human institution is a very great monumental occasion that cannot be glossed over. It is against this backdrop that we join hands with other key stakeholders to pat ourselves at the back for the various roles we played over the past 60 years and still counting. The Parity Association has been one of the, uh, the instrumental partners in the development of this school. The Parent Association over the years has been able to mobilize resources to support the management of the schools. The provision of a sick bay and a partially co uh, completed dormitory for the girls and a few others are the projects that can be credited to the PTA over the years. However, for the, five, for the past five years, policy directions from the Ministry of Education seem to have, been, uh, to have played down a bit on the activities of the, PT, uh, the association in all second cycle institutions in terms of levy and fine, uh, fund mobilization. It is hoped that the current engagements and consultations with the Education Ministry and other stakeholders will continue, uh, will continue so that the PTAs can once again be repositioned to play its critical role of supporting the management of schools with the mobilization of resources and for develop uh, developmental projects for the school. It is in reference to this that we believe that the theme for the celebration, Boas Assisti, the role of stakeholders in promoting quality free SHS education for national development is more appropriate. Finally, we congratulate the uh, management of the school for this achievement and staff, uh, staff and students and other st uh, key stakeholders for their respective roles in our collective journey for the past 60 years. May the motto of the school, perseverance, truth and courage, continue to inspire us to achieve more. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, PTA Chairman. And we have sister schools within the municipality that we collaborate with them when it comes to events, sporting activities, academic exercises. So we'd like to take a goodwill message from our sister schools. I'll call upon the headmistress for Dunkwao Secondary Technical School, Mrs. Patience Lakolate, to do us this honor on behalf of the sister schools. So we have the headmaster for Ayamfri SHS, headmaster for Chichire SHS, and headmistress for Diaso all here. A round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, Nananum, all protocols observed. We are very grateful to God for how far he has brought us. On behalf of Charles Central, and on behalf of those of us in the Dentra Enclave, we congratulate you all, Madam Headmistress, for the good work, 
Dear staff, we really appreciate you and the work you are doing. Students, we appreciate you. We love you so much. So we correct you through punishment. We award you when you deserve it. So on this occasion, Madam Headmistress, I would want to congratulate all award winners for today for the hard work that you have put in. Ayeko. We say we are grateful to God and we pray that God will see you through every endeavor of yours so that in the next celebration, we shall all have cause to give glory to God. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We also take a short message for the Municipal Director of Education, um, the current Municipal Director of Education, and we also take a short one from Maninka uh, Kakra. Debbie and Jim, boss. All right, thank you. Lawyer Chairman. Nanama Ayesua Sarah the second, Denchrahima, my MC, my MP, and my former MP from Chufu Etibukwa. This is my solidarity message. As the Municipal Director of Education for Upper Denchra East, it is my great pleasure, honor, and admiration to use this opportunity to present this goodwill message at the school's 60th anniversary. 60 years existence in the life of an education institution that is born in senior high with consistently high excellent academic records is no mean an achievement. How did it came about? It required dedication, commitment, sacrifices, perseverance, by the founding fathers and all successive managers and stakeholders who had been part of the operations of the institution. The antecedents of this is clearly spelled out by a number of speakers, and only I want to show my appreciation for the school's impressive and contribution in education development in the municipality and the Ghana and Ghana as whole. Education is a key for the development of requisite human capital needs to achieve the desired socioeconomic development of any nation. The country has witnessed a dramatic improvement in access to senior high school and technical education in the past decade due to Ghana's general economic develop improvement, and particularly due to the bold decision in the introduction of the, and the implementation of free senior high TVET policy by the government since 2017. Parents are now willing to send their children to school senior high school to take advantage of the free thank you to take advantage of the free access to education at that level this is where health and management of such institutions including Buampes senior high is grappling with huge challenge of grooming molding and nurturing the heart of youth of the country for the future. On behalf of the Municipal Education Directorate, I wish to acknowledge the exceptional leadership and management qualities of the headmistress, which has reflected in no small measure the school quality result that we have seen within this period. Similarly, we commend the board, engage management, staff, PTA, all students, students, and all others for the big efforts 
you put in to make such complicated and arduous tasks of running a senior high school and also organizing 60th anniversary of in the midst of the country's current economic and financial crisis which had been made easy up to today. We are most grateful and we congratulate you for that. Aiko, thank you very much. Thank you. We'll soon be having the most important speech that all of us are waiting for. But before that, a big announcement has to be made, and I will at this point call on Honorable Abraham Juma Odu to give us a very short, he says it's going to be very brief. Keep it up. He is a proud son of danger. And he's a great politician. Mr. Chair, I'm right here standing in the existing protocol. I was minding my host school celebration, which is coming on sometime uh, December. I attended St. John's Secondary School, and St. John's is 70 years, and I'm also 70 years. So the coincidence and for St. John's. And then I got your invitation that I have to be here. In the first place, I want to thank the organizers for such honoring you've done to me. And uh, Prof, your message really touched me. So I am here, and he knows it. My senior brother was a classmate, John Kingsley Odu. And he was in that Ghana house that you were talking about. He rose to become an accountant in Ghana Railways, but he's no more here. He's gone to join the maker. So on behalf of him, I want to make a nostalgic dick, uh, donation of 10000 on his behalf as part of the old student's uh, effort of getting the school. Nana, you know I'm proud about danger. So if I'm doing something for second year, then I'm not happy. Regional Director, I have one headache. And that headache, I don't know if all of you are sharing the same headache. We are losing our culture. All because we are not taking our history well. We, we are growing children who don't know their history. They don't know their geography. So how can they be patriotic? I am patriotic. I know the entire history. I know Chufu history. And therefore, I want to preserve the history of Dentra and Chufu. But here we are. In fact, the weekend, I've been listening to your minister's message at the UN. And I congratulate him for that powerful and transformation message. He's talking about assertive curriculum. And I dove my heart for him. Let us make sure. Because you go to US, you go to other countries, and they don't deal, they don't deal lightly with a history. Yes, sir. So if we grow Thank you, Honorable Abraham Juma Odu. Oh, he needs more. He's given us 10,000 cities. 10,000 cities. So we are getting ready to have a very special speech from our mama, from our queen mother, from the Queen Mother of Danger.
Before we have the speech by the Queen Mother, a very special appellation has been designed and the students are ready to help us with it. To usher in the very special speech that all of us have been yearning to listen to. So let's welcome them with a big round of applause. <laughs> Um, the chairman for this occasion, or therefore, Boa and Quatra. Now, therefore, by lawyer in Traqua. Traqua. That's right. Now, Waka, you know, by him, I know some Kakra and Sana, you take any more. About two years, students know what I say. A Penifon Atlas and Munti, stop loitering. Let's get seated. All right, I'm going to be very brief. Now is the time for Nana Amma Ayinsua Sarah the Third to address us. Nana is Dentra Hima. She attended Jukwa Methodist Primary School, Jukwa District Council Middle School, and Agri Memorial Secondary School, Cape Coast. She pursued further studies at Takrade Polytechnic, now Takrade Technical University. And had her Bachelor of Commerce in 1999. And this was at a time that she had already ascended the throne as Queen Mother of Dentra in 1997. She served on several boards and organizations. She's currently on the board of Ghana Commercial Bank since 2017. I used to be on this board years back. National Commission on Culture, National Commission on Women and Development, 
I started the National Commission on Women and Development with Mrs. Anigiage in the 1975. National House of Chiefs Research Committee, Chairperson Central Regional Paramount Queen Mothers Association. She has so many other responsibilities I cannot mention. But the message here is clear that what you are talking about, the Nchirashima Ehima, the Queen Mother, this is Papa B, educated, well-educated Queen Mother. Let's pay attention. She will make us happy. Thank you. It's unfortunate, sir. I am crochet school land, but Kakrana, I can never go home. Meti encroachment, you know, I thought to say, there were a lot I you bet to me as top of encroaches, no. But MP say it's sold out. It's rather unfortunate. And uh, because of that encroachment issue, Ninti, and the meda. Now and crack be a was here church will be an your church. Him for Yama Asasi, sir. School ye, new ya, a big ya ain't he? Ya dear me school, number sign shas ye. Nessie, dear, yes, he can be an yeddy, and eat in my tongue, no moon jay. MC ye, Miss Row Casacha will call for no more assembly, no. Say, and yes, you can be a and a yeddy. Cratano at the hall. Say, in this or he be a safe entry. Not a chap as a sino. Not a demand. A more responsibility. Say, Mubesh said, Yen Tong. Na ebawa, the Amukani say, or Hini na scienti. What do you mean? A dear Nimbuya system, no, no. A Nimbuya, Munyam, you may. It's unfortunate, but Kakrana Akano, your Bebo Hubai. And I must swam Munam Akambazina, Munim say, your school landa. More to talk to talk. Assassin, ye be too much. Madam, I say, I could do for or therefore, ma, me name Samu Hamut, ye me or therefore, ba or therefore, emba. Me call angry. Manya in your opportunity number, Nenso, me, or therefore, Baba, 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 into Muhumia, me, or therefore, Baba, said the most more, or therefore, Embano. Mr. Chairman, or therefore, Baba, Felix in Trapa, Rep of Minister of Education. Honorable Member of Parliament, Honorable MCE, Nananum 
the clergy, security officers, school authorities, board of governors, parents, students, the media, the ladies and gentlemen. One point sim, senior high school. As you all know, established in the early 60s as Dunkwao Secondary School, was named after our great king, my uncle, or therefore Buamponsim, the third, who just joined our ancestors. Was your school, my school, our school, has turned out various dangerous citizens who are doing marvelously in several forms of endeavor, both within and outside the country. What is the pride of danger? First, because as Odefo Imba, it bears the name of a great leader and king, Buamponsim III. And second, because the school continues to unlock the potentials of the sons and daughters of Dentro, and thus has contributed immensely in improving the quality of life of the people. As we all know, education is the key to development, and BUAS has been in the forefront instilling in our children perseverance, truth, and courage, which are sine qua non for development. Was has been doing this for 60 good years, but we need to remind ourselves that education is the duty of all of us, the government, we, the traditional authorities, all students, Parents, students, school authorities, and indeed, the general public. We need to play our role to ensure good education for our children, and surely this will translate in development of our communities and the country as a whole. I therefore deem as very appropriate the theme for our 60th anniversary celebration was Buamponsim Senior High School at 60. The role of stakeholders in promoting quality, free senior high school education for national development. Go forth of the United Nations Sponsor Sustainable Development Goals, thus SDGs states, in quotes, ensure inclusive and equitable education and promote lifelong learning and opportunities for all. Thus, the free senior high school concept is not by accident, but a necessity. We all need to do our part as stakeholders to meet the sustainable development goals a reality. I hereby pledge on behalf of Dentra Traditional Council and all Nananum of Dentra that we will continue to do our part to achieve this goal. We do not doubt the ability of great boys to always be in the forefront in achieving a first in all endeavors. We recall in September 1964, and I quote, the Ghana News Agency reported that boys then Dunkwao Secondary School did not require government subvention for purchasing food. That's what the chairman said for the term, because as part of the operation Feed Yourself policy, 
the school's farms could produce more food than the school's requirements. A round of applause for the school. I am hereby charging the school, the authorities, students, parents, or therefore, and all dangerous to relieve the dangerous spirit of old by achieving the lead in all endeavors and make us all proud. Long live was. Long live our therefore, long live Denshra, long live our educational system, long live Ghana. God bless us all. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a small donation from Denshra Traditional Council. We have a check here. Pay one person secondary high school, 10,000 Ghana cities only. This is from Dentra Traditional Council. And uh, this is from your mother, Abriwetia Amayensia Sara III. Pay one person senior high school, 20,000 Ghana cities only. So this is what we have for you. You can go for it tomorrow at GCB Bank PLC. Thank you very much. We can do it better. This is our mother, Frank, Franklin Apo, and then Mr. Peter Agoba, Franklin Apo. Your presence is very much needed here for this very item that we are about to undertake. And all students taking prizes this afternoon should be ready. I believe that if already rehearsed, we don't have much time. If you hear your name, you quickly come and you take your prize. And I said it earlier that Every event, every item brings back nostalgic feelings. If you want an award during your time, I know you know. And it brings back good memories. Good memories. So the 2000 year group, I am not feeling you. Aha, uh -huh, I've seen 100. The 2000 year group. Aha. Uh -huh. The millennium year group. We are starting with the Form 3 category. The awardees kindly get closer. The Senior High School Form 3 category. The PTA chairman will help us with the presentation. When somebody is called to come for an award, let's show our love. It's not easy learning to achieve this feat. It's not easy to achieve this feat. So, the PTA chairman will help us give out this award. And then this award is given to the best student in graphic design. Form 3, graphic design. And the award goes out to Mr. Joseph Nate. Joseph Nate. Oh, you can do it better. He's done well. It's not easy. Yes, Mr. Jo Joseph Nate, graphic design. Mr. Joseph Nate. The next award is presented to Mr. J.B. Emmanuel Amponsa, 3V2, for being the best student in leatherwork, SHS3. 
JB Emmanuel Amponsa, SHS3, best student in leather work. And best student. Okay, so he's getting two of the prizes. And then this one goes out to best student CRS, SHS3. Isaac Boche, Isaac Boche, best student, CRS. Uh, Master Isaac Boche. Danso Norbert Kwesi, 3C, best student in animal husbandry. Animal husbandry. Danso Norbert Kwesi, animal husbandry. Best student music, Abigail Frimpong. Best student music, Abigail from Paul. Where is Abigail? Yes, best student music. Sebastian Fain, 3v1, best student in picture making. Best student in picture making. Sebastian Fain. Best student integrated science. Prince UNG. Prince UNG best student integrated science. Thomas Danso best student Asante Chi. Thomas Asante Chi. Asante Chi. Asante Chi. Best student core mathematics. Titus Youngsen. Titus Youngsen. Core mathematics best student. Augustina Tete, best student, clothing and textiles. Augustina Tete, best student, clothing Janssen. and textiles. I'm happy I'm the one going to call out this one. Augustina Tete, clothing and I textiles. Because I love this area. Best student, English language, call. Kwabina Kwadu. Buon Ponsen, Kwabuna Kwadu. Ah, Buon Ponsen, Kwabuna Kwadu. Kwadu. Buon Ponsen. Yes, it's a it's science student. student. We need the best student in English. Wow. Yeah, very good student. Thank you very much. This one wouldn't happen during our time. And his name is Buon Ponsen. Nabu. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel Atta, elective ICT. Emmanuel Atta, best student, elective ICT. Emmanuel Atta, best student, Emmanuel, ICT. speed up, speed up, speed up. Uh -huh, you have more energy. Ernestina Ampe, best student in general agriculture. Best student economics. Emmanuel Asofoya Jr. Emmanuel Asofoya Jr. Best student economics. Anna Eliplin Agbewoto, uh -huh. a student in business management. That's right. Eliplin. Uh, I, I love the name.